This is James Hilder for IFL TV in association with Macklin's Jim Bay and Hennessy Sports. I'm in Monte Carlo today. With me, I've got the big dog, Clifton Mitchell. What's happening, Cliff? How are you doing, James? Yeah, sweet. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. Yeah. Firstly and foremost, let's talk a little bit about Huey Fury versus Andre Rodenko. Um, that's the reason you're here, part of the Fury camp. Yeah. Good to have Huey Fury back in action. Absolutely brilliant. And you know what? I think the rest has probably done him more good than anything. Okay. I feel I feel that, you know, winning boxing so many times continuous, continuous, continuously. It's good to have a little bit of a break. That's my personal opinion. Mm -hmm. People might not agree with me, but I think I think you you'll see a better Yuri Fury. Because I feel you can get a little bit flat because there's, there's nothing to get up for, you yeah. know? Yeah. Life Plus, constantly in a training camp. As yeah, well. yeah. So you know, he needs to rest his body and you know and come back. And I feel and I feel I feel that you'll see a really, really good performance tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I mean the main event is Martin Murray oh. taking on Gennady Golovkin. It's a mouth-watering clash, isn't it? How, how do you see this fight playing out quickly? Well, my personal thing is, is this, is that if, what does Murray bring to the table that Golovkin's got to worry about? And that's, I think that's, that's, that is the answer. I don't think Murray's a concussive puncher. So how is he going to keep this man off? And that is, that's, that's what, um, that's my, um, take on it. I feel I want Murray to win, a million percent, because I think he's, a, he's a, a proper servant to the game of boxing and he hasn't had the, he hasn't had the rubber of green at the big show. So I think that he can, he can, he can win this fight. One million percent he can win this fight, but I'd like to see what tactics Oliver's bringing to the table yeah. for him to win it. But you know, Oliver said to me that, you know, he said, we've been training for Golovkin for the last two and a half years. So, he says, if you're still there, eight, round eight, round nine, you know that it's working what we want to do. Mm. I just can't, I just want to see how he's going to keep him off. Mm. Because, you know, anybody that can throw uh, over and left with your left foot standing forward and take somebody out, it's got some serious power. <laughs> and you've got to understand that to throw the punch like that <laughs> and sink the man's head into his neck, like a talk toys, you know this man's got some serious power. Yeah? Yeah, no, I'm hearing that. Yeah. If you was in Martin Murray's corner and you was working with Oliver, what advice would you give to Martin Murray for this fight? Um, keep, your, keep your ribs tucked in. Keep your elbows tucked into your ribs. Yeah, keep your hands up. And you, 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 there's two ways to look at this, you know. You can, you can try and box him or you can have a fight. Yeah. Uh, is that your phone there? Um, Do you think he Yo. Sorry about that. It's just alright. Do you think if he tries to have a fight with him, he could be playing into Golovkin's hand as, uh, as Avril Sanchez? Golovkin's I think. I think. I think. I think. Um, the best Golovkin's person I've seen. The, hold on one second. The best person I've seen fight him so far is the, the American kid with all the tattoos all over with a beard. I forgot his name. He boxed on the same show as Tyson did against uh, Cunningham in, in America, mm -hmm. and uh, he went over a few times. But he gave Golovkin quite a decent test. Uh, so. I feel, listen, I'm taking, you, Oliver Harrison's a top, top trainer, top, top tactician. So Oliver's seen flaws in him that nobody else has seen. Or have seen of not be able to uh, exploit. So if, we, if Murray can exploit them, then we've got a chance, you know? Mm. I mean, Oliver Harrison as well, he, he's someone that stays away from the limelight. He just cracks on and does his work. He's yeah. a real, a no real servant of the sport. No interest in the media side no. of things or the no. kind of being a look at me kind of thing. He, yeah. he, He's someone that reads the sport very well. He's very, 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 very astute to what he does. Mm. Uh, very, very um, professional. He ticks his all the box across, you know, across all the T's and dots and I's. So, you know, I know that when Murray goes in, the game plan will be on point. The uh, tactics are going to be on point. It's whether he can pull it off. Mm. And, you know, and God willing, God willing, he pulls it off because I like Murray. British, big it up. No? Uh, listen, Clifton, I can't thank you enough. Give me some of your time, sir. Uh, number two. Go on. Pacquiao Mayweather. Uh, wait, no, no, wait. We're going to get to this. This is second video. Oh, sorry. Uh -huh. Cool.